Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Um, so today we are talking about So Lucky. I might have to get close so you guys can see. Because right, it's a really, really dark cover. Awesome cover, by the way. I really like it. Um, by Nicola Griffith. Um, this was sent to me for review by McD Books and FSG Originals. They also sent me The Mere Wife. And uh, another one, a short, well, a collection of essays called Look Lively Out There, something like that. I can't remember. Um, but I'll be doing, I, I'm really enjoying that one. It's by Sloan Cross, Crosley, Crosby, something like that. Um, but I'll be doing a review on that. Um, but that one's going to take me a while because I do essays and whatnot over a longer period of time. But uh, they sent me this one, a little funny story. They were supposed to only send me the mere wife, but UPS screwed up and sent the package back to them. Um, that's a whole video on itself. Um, and they were nice enough when when they uh, messaged me on Instagram, they were nice enough to send me an entire box of stuff. So they sent me The Mere Wife, So Lucky, and that other book. This one actually came with a little box of uh, branded matches and a, a, a placard for promo stuff. Um, I don't have any of that stuff on me right now, I'm sorry. But the book... The book really doesn't need all that extra promo stuff because the book is pretty dang awesome. Um, I really appreciated um, parts of this more because I've been disabled since 2011. I know I don't talk about it too much. I don't want that to overshadow you know, my work or anything else. I don't want to be known as Edward Lorne, the disabled author of this, or Edward Lorne, the disabled YouTuber. I pretty much I want to stand on my own two feet. Um, no, no bad puns intended there. I'm just, Sorry. Um, anyways, and this book, I was a little trepidatious when I went into it, um, and you can read more about that in my Goodreads review. I'll link down there in the doobly-doo. But uh, I'm glad to say I really didn't have any problems with this other than there's a subplot, main plot-ish kind of murder mystery whatnot that kind of goes nowhere and is wrapped up way too simply uh, for my taste. But I love that certain aspects of this um, had to do with you know being more than your disability being more than your illness um, and how you know we're all human and we should all be treated like humans uh, I know some of you that follow me are not really anti SJW but uh, you don't like politics or anything in that realm this does not preach to you there are some really great lines that will make you look at things a little differently. I'm going to read one of those here in a minute. But, uh, and I, I hope, I don't think it's a spoiler. So I, I, I'll read, I'll read over real quick to make sure or not. But there are aspects of this book where the, her disability, her pain is personified. And I think those are my favorite parts about this book. If any of you have read my novel, The Sound of Broken Ribs, there are a lot of similar ideas in my book and this book not to say at all that she took any ideas from me I'm sure she hasn't read me at all um, but in fact she probably didn't even know who I was until I tweeted her for the first time to tell her how much I was enjoying the book um, the as this personification of her disability and every the way that wraps up is pitch perfect um, the very last couple pages of this book I loved and I think that's why I didn't care as much for the murder mystery aspect because that was such a strong aspect of the book I didn't feel we needed the murder mystery aspect so I'm gonna read you one line that I really really appreciated um, and it made me think not differently because I already felt this way to an extent but she puts it so much better um, I don't think there's any yeah there's there's no there, there's no spoilers here but I am not going to give you the context of which it's in because that would be a spoiler. What is said is this is a character speaking. Well, it's, you'll figure that out in a second. No, I said. Every time there's a serial rapist out there, police say, Ladies, stay indoors for your own good. Why don't they ever say, Men, don't rape. Men, there's a curfew. Inside by ten or we'll cut off your balls. Why should I have to stay away from my home? Why should I, yeah, why should I stay away from my home? Why should I let these people terrorize me into lying down and turning my face to the wall? Now, there is something to be said. Like, you don't have to tell people not to rape. You know, it's, it's common sense that they know not to rape. But 
why are women told that there's a curfew that they need to stay inside why aren't men told hey if we catch you if we catch you guys out there the rapists if we catch you out there then we're going to come and get you maybe not cut off your balls like she said but you get where i'm going with that so the both sides of the equation i like her side better i like her side of the argument better because it it would make more sense to say men here's a curfew don't be outside you know, this is to cut down on the rapes. It makes much more sense than telling the victims or the possible victims to stay at home. And there's a lot of stuff like that, not rape-wise, but there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of common sense stuff in here that I just never thought about. And yes, they say common sense isn't that common anymore, but there's a lot of stuff that made me look at it differently. And any time a piece of literature changes the way I look at something, I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for that. That's one of my favorite things. I read to be changed. I read to have my my uh, points of view challenged. And that's something Nicola Griffith did, and I really do appreciate that. So have you read So Lucky? Have you read anything by this author? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.